Hi Saviors, GH here. Today we're going to be doing Lepidoptera solo or casual to determine if it's worth it. Can we earn some decent silver in this dungeon or are we just gonna lose money? How do we approach farming that dungeon? Do we burn silver or just straight out farm fragments? We're gonna talk about that and with that said, let's do this! Okay, first, Lepidoptera Junction Solo. We can get there by clicking this and selecting Unique Raid and highlighting Lepidoptera Junction Unique and clicking this Movement button over here. That's just some info for newer players. Anyway, Lepidoptera Junction Solo. Is it worth doing? Now, to answer that, let's take a look at the rewards that we can get. Before we look at the gacha rewards, finishing the Lepid Solo will give one boring fragment. Now, 30 of this can give you these recipes. The most important of which is the Pictis and the Juwoda accessories. Those are the ones that can sell for a lot. Now, the gambling system. Rolling one time in this system consumes 9.5k of silver. So keep that in mind. Now, the rewards. As we can see, we can get this RIP 1000 attribute point ticket. And getting 100 pieces of these will get you one piece of 1000 attribute point. This is the item that you will get always. The next reward is the Moringponya Fragment. As I've said, 30 of this can give you recipes for accessories. Now, the Moring Fragment, based on the hundreds of runs that I did ever since this dungeon is released, most of the time I get 0 to about 3 pieces of fragment per 1 minute of rolling. You can maybe get more if you're lucky but don't expect that because you will be disappointed. Now getting 1 means you get 1 free Lepid Solo run because 1 Lepid Solo gives you 1 mooring fragment and running Lepid Solo consumes 3 raid portal stones. And in this server, the cheapest raid portal stone is about 70k silver and 3 is 210k silver which means you save about 200k silver if you get one mooring fragment. Another one that we can get is this 60 pieces of mooring fragment. This is the best item that you can get here. You can trade this for 2 pieces of Pictis accessory or Juwoda that can sell for quite a lot. The problem here is this is rare, very rare and don't hope for this because I rolled so many times in this system and I've only gotten it 5 times. Getting this means you're very lucky. Do not expect this at all. Just let it happen. <laughs> Next item is Proctonium and the rest is trash. I just give them all away or sell them for super cheap. Now, Proctonium, arguably the most important item that you can get here. Cost about 1.1 million in this server and 0 to 2 pieces can be expected per 1 minute of rolling. And 1 minute of rolling in this system cost about 1.4 million per minute depending on how slow or fast you are. If you get 1 Proctonium per 1 minute of rolling, that will cover 1 million of the cost of rolling. If we minus that to the full cost of 1 minute of rolling, we still lose 400k. So, if we only get 1 Proctonium and about 140 pieces of ripped attribute, it's not worth it. For it to be worth it, we need to get at least 2 pieces of Proctonium or 1 piece of Proctonium and at least 3 pieces of Fragment. And in my experience, 2 pieces of Proctonium per run happens about 2 out of 5 1 minute roll. So yes, about 5 minutes of rolling, we can expect 4 Proctonium at the worst. If you're lucky, you get more. 5 minutes of rolling is about 7 million and 4 pieces of Proctonium is about 4 million. As we can conclude, Lepid Solo most of the time will just take your money and time of course unless you get lucky and you get 1 to 2 pieces of Proctonium per 1 minute of gambling. It's not worth it and I can tell you based on my experience, 
you're only lucky when you get one to two pieces of Pactonium per run. Most of the time, it's nothing or just a few pieces of fragments. Now, for the fragments, we need at least seven pieces of fragments per one minute of rolling for us to say it's worth it because seven pieces of fragments saves us about 30 minutes give or take of running Lepid solo. For me, it takes about two to four minutes to run the whole thing and based on my experience, getting seven pieces of fragments is almost impossible. And that makes us conclude that Lepid solo is not worth doing. But we're not done yet. We haven't talked about running Lepid solo 30 times. Running Lepid Solo 30 times cost about 90 Raid Portal Stones and 90 Raid Portal Stones is about 6.3 million if Raid Portal Stones cost about 70k each. For me, one run is about 2-4 to four minutes so 30 runs we can say it's about 90 minutes give or take. Now 30 mooring fragments or one pick piece or juoda recipe in this server is about 10 million. So minus that to 6.3 million, we get 3.7 million. So in about 90 minutes, we make 3.7 million. If we just run the whole thing without gambling. And please remember, we're not considering the taxes on the marketplace if you sell the recipes and the pots you consume when you're running the dungeon and other expenses that you may have. The question here is, is your 90 minutes worth 3.7 million silver? You can answer that, not me. But if you ask me, my answer is no. I'd rather do challenge mode or something else. So the short answer to the question, is Lepidoptera solo worth it? My answer is, the gambling system is not worth it. But running the dungeon 30 times could be depending on how you value your own time and how fast you can do it and the price of raid portal stones and how much you can sell a recipe. And that's it guys. What do you think? Is it worth it to you or not? Please share your thoughts to everyone so everyone can learn. So like the video if you learned something and share to help us with the visibility of the video and then subscribe to be part of the gaming hardcore family and as always this is gaming hardcore see you in the next one